Hezekiah, a 25-year-old king of Jerusalem, was a faithful follower of God. He opened the doors of the temple of the Lord and repaired them in the first month of his reign. He summoned the priests and Levites to consecrate themselves and remove all defilement from the sanctuary. The Levites were chosen to stand before the Lord, serve him, minister before him, and burn incense. The Levites, including the Kohathites, Merarites, Gershonites, descendants of Elizaphan, Asaph, Mataniah, Heman, and Jeduthun, set to work on consecration. They began the consecration on the first day of the first month and completed it on the 16th day of the first month. They reported that they had purified the entire temple of the Lord, including the altar of burnt offering and the table for setting out the consecrated bread. King Hezekiah then gathered city officials and brought seven bulls, seven rams, seven male lambs, and seven male goats as sin offerings for the kingdom, sanctuary, and Judah. The priests, descendants of Aaron, were instructed to offer these offerings on the altar. They slaughtered the bulls, rams, lambs, and goats, and presented their blood on the altar for atonement for all Israel. He stationed the Levites in the temple with cymbals, harps, and lyres, following the way prescribed by David and Gad the king's seer and Nathan the prophet. The Levites stood ready with David's instruments and the priests with their trumpets. Hezekiah gave the order to sacrifice the burnt offering on the altar, and singing to the Lord began. When the offerings were completed, the king and everyone present worshipped. King Hezekiah and his officials ordered the Levites to praise the Lord with the words of David and Asaph the seer. They sang praises with gladness and bowed down and worshipped. Hezekiah then instructed the assembly to bring sacrifices and thank offerings to the temple of the Lord. The assembly brought 70 bulls, 100 rams, and 200 male lambs, all for burnt offerings 